What's up guys, this is your boy Pro Hair at SGR3000 and today we are back with another Shadow Fight Arena video. Today we're going to be doing some uh, 1v1s with characters I don't really use, starting with Helga. Haven't used Helga in a really long time. But um, an inspiration for me using Helga was seeing Hammer play with Helga. Um, she's really freaking, you know, good. I like the, the spacing that she has in the, the neutral with that base attack. And her shining dashes you have to use very precisely because you know sometimes they're easy to evade as you can see this guy was getting caught just doing heavy attacks and stuff like that his projectile wasn't landing at all you get that shining dash on his back dash go for that heavy and guys by the way i just gotta let you guys know this i got kibo's new skin from the um event and i also got helga's um, Shining Determination, her epic weapon. I finally got that. So I'm happy about that. So he starts off with his heavy attack. Gonna go with that jump kick. He tried to use a projectile. It's not landed any of those. Gets that four hit combo. That combo lands so easy for Hongju in the, in the close range. He's just doing that um, heavy attack. Missed the projectile again. Go for my special. See, he's just jumping back. We get the nice shiny dash. Nice damage there. He gets that low attack. Catches me from the air. Nice anti there. See, he's just spamming heavy attack. That's all he's doing. Literally. Does that jump kick, lands behind me and get that base kick off, goes the up attack. I knew he was going to do that heavy attack, so I went with the dash. Goes with the heavy attack again, and that, his heavy attack is so annoying, dude. Get that nice heavy off, go with the shining dash, tries to go with the up attack. But uh, he is dead, we go with the grab after that heavy attack, go with the low, and that's it. Motherfucker kept spamming heavy attacks. He's getting it off too. And it's so bad with Hungry because he has so much range with that heavy attack. The pushback is good as hell too. Go at um, the special move there. He's using Jet. See, he's in the corner now. We go at the nice shiny dash into heavy. Tried to get the grab there, but he jumped out of the corner. Ended up doing the special. Gets that nice grab, of the nice whiff. He tries to do that shuttle move and he pays for it. We do a little bit of damage with the uh, that burn from the heat dome. He gets that nice base attack off. He didn't commit though. I almost had to punish there. Goes with the special and he's just mixing me right now. He gets that nice projectile. We were just trying to mix up right here, trying to find an approach. His jet is fast as hell. Sheesh. Goes with those projectiles. We go with the shining dash and we miss. He gets that heavy attack off. We get the nice recovery kick. He's in the corner now. We go with the up attack. And we go with the shining dash. The nice armor kick there right when I needed it to. That's one thing about Helga too. Her corner pressure can be really good as well. I just need to get better at her corner pressure again. Like I, I just haven't played with her in a long time. Start off with that low attack. We duck those projectiles. He gets that grab. Punish my uh, four kick. He lands behind us. We get our. Uh, we just load in our freaking shining dash up here. He's in the corner, we go to our heavy attack. We get the nice whip punish right there. The second hit didn't connect. Gets the projectiles. We go with the special attack. We got our shiny dash now, he gets the grab. Go with the low attack. And we catch him out of the air with that, go with the low kick. 
get the grab, go with the um the uh, up attack, and you you see this guy. He's playing very you know passive right now. Go with that nice grab. He didn't know that was coming. Tried to go with the special attack, but he uh, do his projectile. You just pressure him right here. He goes with his uh, base attack. Nice eight hit combo. Did quite a bit of damage. Nice low attack. He read me coming in, and we get that nice shining dash off. Go with the heavy attack. Then he jumps over me. Go with the base attack. You don't kill him there. The the second hit doesn't land always for some odd reason with that. It's like the range. You know, it's not it's not all that good on a second hit sometimes. But like I guess because. Helga's reach with that base attack, you know, the first hit can reach really, really far sometimes in a neutral, which makes the second hit not hit. So, you gotta deal with that sometimes. So right here I'm playing with Jet. I don't play with Jet at all. You know, sometimes I play with Jet to, uh, to troll. She's really fucking fast. He's getting this ironclad um, shenanigans off. You get the grab there, go with the low attack. Go with the nice heavy kick, go into the shadow move. He rolls, and we get the nice force, um, the, I'm not for it, but up shadow move off. Go with the special kicks. He fell into my trap, went into the, the um, armor. She has percept armor, so. Going with these ironclad shenanigans. He, he just, you know, mashing right now. Go with the nice heavy attack, and that ends it. Go for it twice. <laughs> not gonna lie, that's a that's a nice mix-up, but not everybody falls for that. I'll fall for it sometimes, I admit. Go with that special attack. Go with the nice base attack. See how we just mixed them up there. Go with the nice special kick. He gets his spinning attack off. Go with the low. Just mixing up here. Tried to get that up attack off, but uh, that armor on that shadow move. You get the nice base attack here. Base kick. And we were just mixing them there. Nice armor kick there for Ironclad. Stop the combo. Gets that nice shadow combo off. Get the nice empty air. And we're going to go into the special kicks. Shadow move. And he's dead. Alright, guys. We got this guy, Energy Pump, using Jack. I'm using Fire Guard. I like using Fire Guard, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't used him in a long time either, but Fire Guard is fun to use. Yeah, he's not safe on that heavy attack, so I got grabbed, he goes with the up attack. I'm trying to load up those fractures. I know he has that heated gun, so I'm not getting hit by that. Goes for the jump kick, and I try to get the flame off. He does have that um that armor with Jack for projectiles, so I can't really, you know, use my flame, my flamethrower. Go for the jump kick. He goes for his back kick. He stops me. It's a nice check. We go for the special move. He doesn't get his um, shadow move. I waited right there and got the grab. Like that heavy kick was crazy on recovery. We get the shadow move right there. He's burning and he is dead. Fire guard, I'm not gonna lie guys. It's OP damage. Really freaking OP. If you're on fire and he has, you know, shadow energy and he lands it, it's all bad. <laughs> the shadow move that I have, a, a main, the main problem landing is the back shadow move. It's so hard to land. I think that's the reason why I don't use Fire Guard, like overall, like his moves are, his moves are good, but his special attack is really slow, his shadow moves are kind of hard to land unless you get a knockdown, but other than that, yeah, Fire Guard is OP, not literally OP, but he's, he's definitely good, he's checking me with that back kick, we jump over that shadow move, go for the base attack, some nice damage, Get the slam, low attack. See, he's just backing up there. Playing passive here, waiting for me to attack. 
He gets that nice heated gun off. Watch this damage, guys. He's gonna do a jump kick there, and the ex <laughs> that explosion, plus a shadow move. If he had more health, that would've probably been, did like so much more damage. But the, the, that was that match, and now we have Emperor here. Going against uh, Ironclad, Godson. All right, guys. Fight. We go with the low kicks. Go with the base um, mix up. Just mixing up those attacks. Got the right spacing on that special. Go for the low. We get that nice jump kick, but we miss. He went right under that. Try to get that nice uh, Superman punch. Go with the special kick there. And we're going to transform. Right when you're in the corner with Emperor, it's all bad. Tried to go with special, but he does a spinning attack into shadow combo. That was a nice combo there. We get the nice block breaker. It's going to do some damage and heal. I do have silver linings for Emperor too, so the beast has more HP and the Emperor does, which is amazing. Feels comfortable playing with Emperor. We get that nice up attack right there. And that's going to end that. Yeah, Emperor and Beast is like one of the best characters in the game in my opinion. If he hits you with that explosion, and, and it like if the opponent has wild explosion on, it's all bad for you. It's going to take like almost your whole health bar, and you know how fast the Beast is, so yeah, you got to deal with that. Some people like to camp with the beast, and it really works. But the, I don't recommend camping, so I, I like the pressure with beast. He's really fast anyway, so you get that nice up, up attack off, uppercut, anti-air. Get the nice transformation. Look how much damage that did. Get the up attack. That was a block breaker. Get the spinning attack, and we go with the up attack, and that's it. He's fast. And now, for the last, uh, for the last match, guys. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold you guys. This dude quit. He quit. <laughs> the Emperor was too good. I have, I have fun playing with Emperor. He is really fun to play with, seriously. And he's barehanded. You gotta be in close range to play with Emperor. Get that nice transformation on his uh, sudden trick. Go for the shadow move. Not shadow move, but special attack. And he quits. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.